You have to know the difference between a skinny, soy, vanilla thingy chino, or you won't make any sense of the coffee shop menu. Thanks for those. Now, if you take a look at the new car market, deciphering the menu is just as tough, especially if you're after an off-road vehicle. There's a choice between full-time four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, soft roaders and crossover vehicles. It's enough to make you a tea drinker, or almost. To help me sort the trucks from the toys, I've come to Motorama 4x4 by Moore on Brisbane Southside. The workshop here sees more than its fair share of Forbes roll through the front door, so we're better to get right down to the nuts and bolts of the issue. Simon Fenderman is one of the driver trainers here at Motorama and he knows all these cars inside and out. Hey mate. G'day. Soy latte for you. Thanks. Now we're talking the difference between off-roaders and soft-roaders. Help me. Well, sitting underneath the Toyota Prado, Gary, this is what you'd be considered, considered to be an off-roader. Um, the way you tell the off-roader apart from a soft-roader as such will be things like the extra protection under the vehicle. Um, a must is a transfer case, going into low range, slowing the vehicle down to allow it to uh, take on obstacles without damaging it again the vehicle. And last but not least, the extra ground clearance that the vehicle does have. What all this means is that the off-roader can not only access more difficult terrain, but it's also much better protected if you do get into trouble with a bit of bump and grind. Of course, for a lot of people, if there's even the chance of bump or grind in the new car, they'll steer well clear of the terrain altogether, and for them, an all-wheel drive soft-roader might better fit the bill. Gary, this is a, what you would consider a soft road. This is the Toyota RAV4. Um, more designed for road first than off-road, as opposed to the Prado. Uh, and you can see in key components like the suspension, not quite as beefed up as the Prado. Same, same with the, uh, the protection underneath the vehicle, more of a plastic as opposed yeah. to a steel. Um, the ground clearance is less. These sort of vehicles are more used for light trail work. Uh, beach is definitely where these cars shine. Their lighter weight means that they handle the deeper soft sand Simon reckons soft riders like these RAV4s are actually a lot more capable than people give them credit for. And to prove his point, he's let me loose on their 4x4 by more test track. A collection of hills, bumps, rocks and moguls designed with the RAV's bigger Land Cruiser brothers in mind. Right, well, once ago, just flick over the edge or preempt this situation and uh, hit the button there. It's a bit rough here. It's a little bit rough. <laughs> yeah, hang on, mate. Okay, so it's taking us through this now. Now, now we can just modulate the throttle to get us over the top of the wall. Yeah, as slow as possible, we can. There we go. Now, if you can see yourself behind the wheel of something like this, then have I got the scoop for you. The guys here at the Motorama Group are giving you the chance to win a car worth up to a cool 50 grand. Just write down today's keyword, which is moguls, log on to the Motorama website and go to the Use Cars icon. Then click on the special Motorama giveaway logo and you'll come up with an entry form. All the terms and conditions you want are on there, so click away and you'll be cool bananas in no time. I made it handle that pretty well. Didn't have a problem at all. How's it going to go now? I'm going to reverse back to it. Is it? Well, let's look at the blindfold on first and we'll see how it goes. With a princess.